The critics use a lot of terms to describe Mary Fall's voice. Timeless, expressive, emotional, a voice for the gods. She came to prominence in the 90s as a member of the New York-based chamber pop group October Project before striking out on her own. lucky. I had older siblings who had very different record collections. So I was, I was a little kid that was immersed in really, really great music. How lucky was I, really, you know, to have all of that dif different kind of music coming at me at once. And it's how I developed my voice because I sang along with all of it. You know, I never got stuck in one particular mode. Her latest album reflects that range. Hits by everyone from Pink Floyd to Dusty Springfield to the Electric Light Orchestra. Cause I can't get it out of my head. I was a teenager in the 70s and, and I think these songs resonate with people that remember all, all of that era. Um, and there was great music then. Local music fans should feel very comfortable when she plays a Saturday night concert at Auburn Public Theater. Though she's based in Pennsylvania, Mary Fall's band includes some of Central New York's finest musicians. Bassist Edgar Pagan, drummer Josh Duchaney, Jim Mahoney on keyboard, and her music director of a decade, Sammy Hall of Famer Mark Doyle. He's a great guitar player. He's, he's what we call a cat in the business. He's played with many of the greats as a, as a touring musician. But beyond that, he is he's, a, he's a equally as great a pianist. He's a marvelous producer, and he, he understands me and how I work. And, um, and plus, he's just a really wonderful human being. He's a, he's a, he's a lovely person. The Auburn Public Theater show will feature her own music along with October Project favorites and songs from I Can't Get It Out of My Mind. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Well, thanks, Tim. Tell us something good. You got a great story for Tim to share? Just send us an email at somethinggood@localsyr.com or post it to social media using the hashtag somethinggoodsyr.